Hey, MTG players, it's Eclectics. This is draft number 10. After a disappointing 03 last time, let's hope we can redeem ourselves. Let's hype up. And as I always say, it's drafting time. Let's see. Yep. It is the Kite Sail Arsonist, no doubt. Got its squints here. We have Sunfire Torch, Armored Kin Collar, so kind of a dino thing, but the Larsonist is just way low. And we're picking up our last one to complete the set. Nothing else stands out in this pack. Well, there's Dead Weight. Uh, so, yeah, best cards out of this pack. There's Kwati. Scavenger, our raccoon, it's Quince, Deadweight, Kin Collar, Sunfire Torch. River Guile's not bad uh, as well. We got a black cave here with just Deadweight in this one. It's mostly a green pack. So I'm not expecting green to be awesome here. All right, we're picking up Tishana's Tide Binder here. Eaten by Piranhas, we're passing. Twists and Turns, we're passing. Ancestral Remnants, we're passing. Waylaying Pirates, maybe it'll wheel. Maybe this dude will wheel. Sunshot Elisha, don't mind wheeling you. But we are taking Tishana's Binder. We have two so far. We're picking up our third copy. Everything else is cleared. Yeah. Uh, all right. Pretty good start. Pretty good start. Let's hope we're blue because looking like we're being past blue. So, in by Piranhas. I guess the best from this would be blue red or blue white. I don't mind blue white as well. Blue black is the one that I'm not looking forward to. Blue green as well. Blue, red, blue, white. And the other two can... Zoetic Glyph. All right. Looks like we're going on the blue train. We're filled with uh, blues. Cogwork Wrestler's not going to wheel. Plundering Pirate or Dynatomaton on the wheel. Maybe they're sick of blue. Cogwork Wrestler wheeling would be great. On two, ensuring a third land. Compass Gnome would be great. Um, nothing else in this pack. So, Zoetic Glyph, Plundering Pirate, Dynatomaton, Staggering Size, and Compass Gnome. Oh, uh, Cogwork Wrestler. The others are passable. Well, Fanatical Offering if you're in... The black green sacrifice deck, but this pick three on pack one, blue, blue, blue. Let's go, blue, blue, blue. Let the timer run out so we can keep on checking out the cards. All right, so with this one, we still continue with the blue train. Here's Cogwork Wrestler. Yeah, I think we continue. Nothing else uh, for us peering behind uh, for blue. Unlucky drop if it wheels. Uh, Miner's Guide Wing. We'll continue with the blue train with the Cogwork Wrestler. Hurl into history is not a thing. Glorifier of Suffering with Miner's wing Guide Wing is pretty good. Explore. Sack this for this on Explore. We'll put a counter on something else. We are passing Rumbling Rock Slide and Idol of the Deep King, but I don't mind. Cogwork Wrestler is, yeah. A Zepic Petrify here. Pick five. Yeah, yes, please. Maybe we'll be able to pick up a mural. You don't know, but Brackish and... Inverted Iceberg is being passed here. And I think 
it can wheel. Any of these two cards can wheel. We're taking Petrify here. Yep. Definitely taking Petrify. Passing a Goblin Tomb Raider. Runaway Boulder, if you ever manage to pick up Abuelo. Runaway Boulder. Ooh. <laughs> Runaway Boulder on Inverted Ice. Uh, Abuelo on Inverted Iceberg would be awesome. Uh-huh. Okay. I'm in. Dinatomaton better than this, but that's a pretty good card. I'm going to take it. I think we're more white than than uh, red. Like I said, we passed red earlier, so that might even not even come in. Sunbird Standard versus a Hidden Cataract. I think I'll take the Hidden Cataract here. Join the Dead? Pick 7? Pick 8? Wheeling? Join the Dead? Nasty. Pretty nasty. But Sunbird Standard... That is a target for... Uh, for the Glyph. I think no. We'll go ahead and take the uh, the hidden cataract here. Yeah, another hidden cataract. Hmm. Let's take a compass gnome. Wow, red is also wheeling. Blue maybe. I don't know. That that's not a thing. Compass gnome on two is fine, so we can guarantee a land. Okay. Pirate hat more than the shipwreck sentry. Yeah, okay. Pirate hat. Because the shipwreck sentry is kind of passable, but the pirate hat is usable. Waylaying pirates. Wow. Okay. Okay. This wield. Awesome. If red's going to wheel, but compass gnome, second one, don't think so. Okay, okay. Unlucky drop. Brackish now, brackish. Sinity, Dominarius, Bogarden, Axel, Raptor, Mahomes. Raptor, Mahomes. Yep, we got brackish. So our second color is not in stone. We have petrify, we have iron paw. What? And there's a choose one. That might actually be okay. Even acrobatic leap. So white's totally okay. Green. If we had Sunbird Standard or this, maybe. I mean, can we use something else over here? I don't think so. Well, there's the Soaring Sandwing versus a Defathom Echo. Blue, green. You know what? We're going to take it. But we're going to put it on the sideboard for now because it's not sure. Five with all trick. All tech archaeologist. Acrobatic leap is not a thing. Cavern of souls versus scampering surveyor. Nope. We're taking scampering surveyor here. We might get lucky and still get a mural. We're still hoping for a mural here. But yeah, that'll be the fifth artifact usable in the deck. 
Definitely. Definitely. We're looking for the... Uh, yeah, you. Exactly. The scout. Warwind scout. And the siren. The siren as well. Eaten by piranhas, wheeling is great. But yeah. Scout on three. Excellent. Let us take the water wind scout. Green. So it's looking like we still don't have a second color. We're still on the blue train right here. Red now. Council of Echoes. If there are four more permanent cards, you can return up to one target now other than to its owner's hand. I think probably not. Maybe a braid is the uh, the pick here with red. But we're going to put you in the sideboard for now. Because we may be red, we may be white. Our white is okay. Okay, no. We're, we are red. Yeah, red. Sahili's Lattice. Nope. I'll take that for removal. Guess white's not available. Three, sure. On two as well is fine. So we have better twos. What? Malamid, Horror Scribe. You know what? Why not? If it's available. Huh. Look at that. Look at that. That versus a petrify, sure. So we're not red, we are white. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Petrify on seven. We're not gonna get petrify back. We have a petrify already, yeah. Alright. Yep. Huh. Nothing. Nothing here. Black. Take Zayola. Maybe buried treasure. Sixteen. Buried treasure with what? Two and then activate this. Maybe not a great pick up there. All right, we'll take that. Soaring Sandwing versus a Brackish Blunder. We already have Brackish. So right now we have Brackish, Unlucky Drop. Kite Larcenist, Petrify. Acrobatic Leap is not a thing. Another Acrobatic Leap. Maybe Song of Stupefaction. Another unlucky drop? Sure, we can definitely grab that. River Herald Scout for early game? Maybe. Ooh, self-reflection. I mean, we are pretty short on stuff, right? We're still looking for the mural. Open the mural, please. Or Abuelo. Abuelo. I'll take a roaming throne, sure. Roaming throne for what? Spring loaded saw blades, also great, but is it better in our deck? Roaming throne with Zoetic Glyph, not really a thing, right? Because it already has Ward 2. But roaming throne for what? Uh, if a triggered ability or not your control, uh, trigger an additional time. So we can trigger this. We can trigger Kaite Larcenist. We can trigger Malamet War Scribe. Definitely. Cat. Uh. Uh huh. So here's a market gnome, here's, we need early game. Uh, 
we really need early game and we don't have stuff to sacrifice for it we'll take that instead of thousand moons crack shot because we can attack later right let it serve as mural come on open a mural open a mural pirate versus clay fired bricks versus treasure map Okay, lots of decision here. Lots of decision. Here's removal. Here's clay-fired bricks for artifact, which we already have. How many pirates do we have? Yeah, I think I'll take you. Staunch crewmate. We have kite sail arsonist. We have... We didn't get any Oaken Sirens. But I think it's good enough to, uh, as a two drop. Wow, nothing for us here. Whoa. Really? Well, here's a Glorifier of Suffering on three. Okay. Yeah. Oh, Compass Gnome. What the heck? Why are you there? Uh, okay, maybe take the, the throne of the Grim Captain. Tinker Stoat here versus Cogwork Wrestler. Because Tinker Stoat is great. Yep. Definitely versus a cog work wrestler. All right. We got to cut one now. <laughs> oh, water wind scout. Great. Okay. Now we're going to really have to cut something. Okay. Quicksand whirlpool. Versus la say this lattice. No. Um, really need to cut something now. That's a cave, which we're not really using. Forgotten Monument, other caves. We don't have other caves. Oh, Hidden Cataract. Yeah, we're not going to use it. Maybe Buried Treasure. 25. We need to cut two. So, do we have a There's a merfolk. There's a pirate. Didac or brackish? Nope. Didac's pretty useful. We even have Another brackish. All right, we have a pretty good one. We don't have the mural, which is kind of sad, but still workable. I think we really have a good deck. We just really need to polish it. Um, we gotta cut at least one brackish. We did not get, we have a Petrify. Pirates have, no, that's fine. Throne is out. Artifact count is eight. Pirate count is four. Probably Araska Puzzle Door. River Herald Scout. One more old deck, yeah. Okay. 
One, two. Uh. Oh, unlucky draw versus brackish. We'll do brackish too. And unlucky drop one. Yep. So there's a world where we malamit and just attack in. Yeah. Artifact count is seven, which is pretty good. Okay. Azorius. Pirate rocks. Oh. More. Yeah. Oops. Uh, more blue than white. Yep. All right, this is how it uh it looks right now. Looks great. Awesome. Let's uh let's play it. One, two, three, four, five, six. We kind of lack more flyers. We don't have the old tech cloud guards. Um, we have white, we can get blue. Sure. So, if I do this, what's on three? Two, and still have, I don't need it, right? Three, it's better to still have it. Three, if you cash it, okay.
So we now have to decide what this is going to be. I think human, right? Kite sail, human. This is merfolk. Yeah, I'll do human. Okay. Land, please. Oh, okay. Human. That's two. Ward two. Can't kill it. Yep. Oh, nice. Nice. What? He's got over the edge. What the heck? Seriously? <sighs> That's five. Yeah. Okay. Now I got this. Can't attack. We can do Tishan's tie by artifact or creature. Counter this way. That part loses all abilities for as long as. Enters a battlefield. Counter up to one target activated or triggered ability. Hmm. We have to tight binder and then what? Because this is two to cast. You'll think we have something, right? Okay. Can't attack. What can we do with that? Uh. He's, he's got like staggering size or something. Six doesn't really matter. Six does not really matter at all. He's got scampering surveyor. He can also do idol of the deep king. Man, when he removed this, that really put us in a really bad spot. Like, really bad spot. And that's a 6-6. Six, six. We got to contend with. All right, let's just block it once. No, 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 not with you. With you. Dreadmaw's ire. Counter up to one activated or triggered ability. Oh, it doesn't work. Okay, well, 
We lost. Yeah, it doesn't work. Hit us for uh, for four. I totally forgot about the raptor. And we drew land. Okay. Well. Hmm. That's very disappointing. Bad showing for the deck. Or the pilot is just so bad. I don't know. Please draw Kaitse Larcenist. Roaming Throne was drawn, but Human, Human, Human Cleric. So most of our stuff is human. So there's cat Larcenist. I don't know. Depends on our hand. Uh, at the time, we were okay with human because waylaying pirates, but he was able to remove it over the edge for some reason. Who has over the edge on main board? <laughs> well, apparently, pretty good against us. Yeah, sure. We're not starting. Nice. We can't even do this. Yikes. Target creature to its owner's hand. Crew one. So bad. It's already got, he's already got the upper hand now. I think we'll do a tempo run. No blocks. So next we can get that. Brackish. All right, sure. So he explores again if I tap this. The map, the explorer will be bad. Yep. You really can't do anything with that. You're gonna, just going to have to cast it, yeah? With two lands, I think you're delayed. We got this now. Okay. OK, 
Okay. Scampering surveyor will So this is going to be two, this is a gnome. So if I choose to attack with this, he lose one. But we still have Malamet, right? We can't. He's attacking with four three again. Doesn't matter. We can double tap this. All right. So if we attack, he cruise, he cruise with that, he'll lose the Schumer, will lose this, we're not attacking, we're going to attack next turn though, for sure. Cool. So this is going to do what? One, two, three, four, five. Doesn't have anything, so thirteen, three, can't attack with that, five, nine, yeah, he's dead, right? If 
Okay. But yeah, we won not because of whatever. Our opponent was stuck on two lands. Hidden courtyard, and I don't know why you kept that hand. Well, he had a schooner. He was hoping to capitalize on it with the explorers, but yep, we got him with the uh, with the uh, brackish. Awesome. If we had drawn Kite Sail Larsenist, maybe he would have been able to play something. Maybe that would have been a bad thing. I don't know. Creature versus that. Mm. 2-1. Yep. That's definitely an awesome draw with the Roaming Throne. Did we put more early game? I basically wanted to just keep having land drops every turn. Scampering Surveyor kind of... We were short on blue mana. That's what was happening. There's no white, but we can get white. Yep. Hidden cataract. What's a cataract? Isn't it is that something on the eye? So it's like we got um, three lands here in this hand. Three lands. And we got something out of the deck. So, hmm. Cesar the Planeswalker, another mythic player. Ay, ay, ay. Play tight, play tight, play tight. Nope. Oh, we do. We have a. Uh, Second turn play, so we can play something on three. And we have Brackish up. Or maybe counter with the Tide Binder? I don't know. Hey, are we delayed or what? Are we on? Nope, we're definitely on, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Is it us? It's him, right? He's the one. Still prepared to play the land. He waited like I don't know what So is it better to play out the um this or have this up? Because this is counter up to one target activated or triggered ability. That doesn't really do anything. On next turn, we have Brackish and this up. I think we'll just do... Yeah, we'll just do the Tinker Stone. He has black though. Play fired bricks. We'll have brackish up still. Okay.
Whoa. We're going to brackish this. He'll be delayed. We have Malamit, right? So if your opponents will lose life during your turn, they lose twice that much. This is 2-4. We can't... Wow. We can't do this, right? What's the... Uh, hmm... We'll have to sack one. Which is totally fine. Terror Tide? We can't. Nope. Okay. Well, yeah, we got the uh, Malamid. The war scribe would think you're stoked. Cool. That was cool. That was really cool. So is it two or in the air? I think I'm just going to go with air so we can start the aerial attack. Yep.
white mana would be really really cool so we can have malamit on five Drone is too slow. Blue brackish is the only thing that you can have. White. Damn. Brackish. Okay, I accept three versus the artifact, sure. Oh, <coughs> mm. that's not great. All right, we'll cast it. That's self-reflection. You don't have double blue. Okay. Eight, six, four. That's fine. Ooh. You'll never... You're never tapping, right? Can oh, okay. You can try to copy it, right? Yeah, blue. Okay. White. Five, six. White! Damn! Dang dang! Really, dang dang! I just need one white, man! If he gets another land, he's gonna try to do the brackish. Which is fine. Oh, the uh, self-reflection, which is fine. Self-reflection, but we're going to brackish it. Because it's not six. It's... 
five. Ooh, he's got another throne. He's got two thrones. Legendary artifact. Cool. Seven. Three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, he does have seven. Okay. And we're kind of past this now. Not great. Activated ability. Huh. Black. Activated ability. Mill two cards. I think this is it, right? Does he have it? He's got... Uh, no. He's got... What? He doesn't have anything. Merfolk pirate. And then what? Self-reflection what exactly? Now you can't do anything with that. One, two, three, four. Okay, come in. Whoa. So this is... 14, 12, 14. What was that? Okay, well, we got it by the inch, but not sure what that was. Not sure what that was. He was tapped out. We just needed one planes, man. And deck, 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 deck. Okay, well, we take those. Okay, we got to three. Awesome. I would say this is a pretty good deck, but, um, I don't know. We're not getting excellent draws. Yeah, like two planes. Hello? Two planes? Hello? On the previous draft, we had a double white angel. <laughs> I didn't even opt to, uh, to put it in the deck. Yeah, because it's double white. Maybe it should have been in there, but yeah. So, compass gnome. Yeah. Okay.
Dragon Guard with the mission. Here we go again with blue stuff. What the heck is going on with this thing? What the heck? If we decline, right? We don't have... Oh, screw it. Totally fine. So if I take one, this is five, I can't, we're waiting, right? This is what exactly? So three, four, I'd take a what? Search time for a basic land or a land card, sure. Descend, sure. Okay, so clay fired bricks. Ensure a land drop. do this nope it's clay fired bricks
you don't find an answer for that, well... Yeah. Okay, well... Oh, Bitter Triumph! Wow, okay. Cool. Double. Okay. You can still get screwed here. Three. So we can go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Or we can just do this. 16. This is 7, 11, and this. This is 9 plus 4. Oh, I'll have 16, right? So we can definitely... Okay, I think we're far off from dying that having this and then the Malamet is pretty much game over. Because this ensures that we have two lethal attackers. Yeah, even if he... Okay. Okay. Yep. Not enough, dude. Sure. 9, 13. 9, 13. Sure. Okay. 11. We'll just block one. 11, 15. Nope. Not enough. Oh, you can tap this for 13. Uh huh. Eleven, fifteen, nineteen, sure. Cool. We got life from the uh, clay fired bricks. Yeah, clay fired bricks and the uh, soaring sand wing. He kind of got lucky with the uh, bitter triumph. That was a big, a uh, huge dude. Five five. Why yeah. All right, we're chugging along. We're four wins on the deck. Double blue. We have a couple of double white cards, which is eh, kind of a problem, but not really. Larcenist, sure. I think uh chosen permanent hundred percent we're doing that submit zero can't you have to equip something you can brackish blunder it hmm 
Mm, you have to cast a creature. You can cast something for drop. Three. Okay. Got a couple of brackishes. All right. Brackish too. Yeah, you can. Cog work wrestler. Sure. Then what? This. Okay. Two to equip, right? Cool. Two attackers. Cool. Took care of the big scary bone whore dracosaur. Uh oh, he's chaining. So if we do this, he cancels this out. Scampering Surveyor. Might have still one. Can't you can Should have actually had that drawn, right? Instead of the land. That was kind of a mistake. Scryed it, but didn't draw it. Oh, I explored it. Should have left it because we drew it with the um, Didact Echo.
Need to play two things. Or kill the kite sail arsonist. Ooh, he's desperate now. He's got three, he's got four. Okay, Captain Storm, then what? This is still three. We can still hit something like petrify. Cool. All right. We got it. All right. Cool. Okay. We got to diamond three. We got five in a row with this deck. Awesome. So the misplay there on the last game was uh, we were able to explore Scampering Surveyor. We just kept it on top. So we drew it. Ooh, what's this? Ninjal, the Storm Runner. Dominaria? Oh, yeah, I love this card. I think. Right, yeah. Spell copy. Let me choose new targets for the copy. Yep. Definitely like that. Uh, okay. This is what? Five, six. This is the seventh game. Five, six, seven. Yeah, this will be seven because there was that uh, game after our loss where... It was a, uh, it was a tie. <laughs> it was a draw. It was a draw. It was a draw. All right. Right, Jetter two. Yeah, keep this. If we don't draw a land, I'll grab a land. Okay, yes, definitely. Then white. I still say human. Cool. Go ahead and get your uh, removals on because So we don't have five, six. If we draw land, we can actually cast the Sandwing next turn. Um, more white than blue. Uh, blue. Oh, come on. Sure, take the roaming throne, blah, blah, blah. Yep. 
Naughty, naughty, naughty. So, five. I can't equip it right now. Okay. Mm -hmm. The six six. So we can do unlucky drop right now. Tempo four. Uh, nine unlucky drop. One, two, three. Yeah. Or is it our ace? Okay. I think it's our ace. We can go and might have joined the dead all right that's fine okay oh join the dead damn it all right well Okay. Maybe it was unlucky drop for mana efficiency, but I think that's right. Nice. Yes. No, now. 
yeah, it was great to have unlucky drop. Brackish. I don't know, he can have any number of things on his hand right now. Five, he can't craft that. He can craft the uh the blade. Cause we'd be attacking for uh for six, putting him down at three. If he's got lands that he's just keeping, well, yeah. Okay. Okay, two. So we can get rid of this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight is great. Blue, white, blue. Yeah. All right. Yeah, you can't. <laughs> All right. One, two, three, four, eight. Yeah, we have. Okay. Nine. Totally fine. Okay. Got your number, oh, got your number, ooh. Okay.
Three. How can I lose? How can I lose? Terror Tide. I can clay fire bricks this. That's the only way I can lose, right? Yeah. Terror Tide. Cool. All right, we got to one pip. Let's get that last pip. Six and one. Two chances for a trophy. Let's get it. Don't have my drink. We have four. Okay, I'll keep it. Hopefully, we can draw action. Please draw two drop. It'd be so good if we can draw a two drop. Four action. Please don't draw lands. Let's get this W. Great action, which is f great. Grab more action, please. Grab more action. So if we let him attack us, does it really matter? This is a 2-3. Two, three, he can equip this. We can, yeah, we can have other stuff going on. We are not blocking. We can equip this, we can attack, scampering, surveyor, Aaron. Ooh, now we're going to, okay. <laughs> All right, cool. We'll put him on, so he's going to equip that. Should be fine, right? Five, still good. Four, six, yep, Malamit. Malamit will be really good. If he doesn't play anything, we are so much ahead on board. We 
Nope. So this is five, six, seven. We're off one, but we got brackish. Got it. Cool. All right. Well, we got lucky. We drew into Zoetic Glyph and it won us the game. We got the trophy. But our opponent really didn't play anything. He had one creature, played out land, tried to uh, get in with Terran Soul Cleaver. We had removal, rather tempo play, so, yep. Awesomeness, 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 awesome, awesome, awesomeness. Well, that played out pretty well. Our first game, don't even remember what happened to that. I think... We also had a pretty good chance, but yeah. That played out really, really well. Oh, we even have Quicksand Whirlpool, which I didn't actually put in the deck. What? But we had enough uh, sort of removals. We had Unlucky Drop. We have... So we could have had, instead of Unlucky Drop, uh, Quicksand Whirlpool. It would have worked. Would have worked. Roaming Throne was awesome on the uh, turn where we actually drew two with Staunch Crewmate. Didn't whiff both times, both triggers. We got something. Um, and also, Roaming Throne with Wailing Pirates uh, <laughs> tapping uh, something twice. <laughs> That was pretty good. That was awesome. That was awesome. But yeah, we got through with Zoetic Glyph. Uh, a couple of brackish blunders are really, really great. Yeah. Awesome tempo uh, play from uh, Blue with this card. We have a Petrify as well, which we're able to capitalize on at least one game, I think. Yeah, 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 yeah. And Clay Fired Bricks, of course. Very low rated card, but this is just awesome. Like in that game where we were down four, got us because we uh, gained two life from this and gained two li uh, three life from the Tinker Stone. No, no, no. Two life from Clay Fired Briggs and then three life from the Soaring Sandwing. That was really awesome. That was really awesome. We even had plays where we could do Soaring Sandwing on 5 because of Scampering Surveyor. This card is pretty good. Really good. Got removed like... Even on the last game, Petrify with the Wailing Pirates and then destroyed this. 
with the hammer. <laughs> that was pretty good. That was pretty good. Awesome. All right. Let's go ahead and claim the uh, the prize because this deck just rocks. Uh, as I, I named it Azorius Pirate Rocks because it's made up of pirates. Pirates with the Kite Sail Larcenist, which we were able to capitalize. We got through a Dracosaur. Bone Horde Dracosaur. Imagine that. We were able to snipe away a Dracosaur with a Kite Sail Larcenist. It was just awesome. Just really awesome. Sure, you got a Dracosaur. Well, it's a treasure now. <laughs> That was really good. That was really good. That was really good. And also that game where that was a weird game where we won with Tishana Sidebinder where we uh disabled the uh throne. <laughs> and then for some reason, I don't know, maybe he miscalculated, but our opponent attacked for not lethal. We were down one, and then we swung for lethal. That was really weird. That was really weird. Maybe it was out of frustration. I don't know, but yeah, maybe we 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 couldn't have won that game. I don't know as well. But we had flyers. We were going to fly over. We didn't have anything big, but <laughs> he like crafted the uh, iceberg twice. <laughs> we were able to just return it with brackish and. Uh, unlucky draw. That was pretty funny. That was pretty funny. That was a pretty cool game. All right, anyway, <laughs> we did not uh, use Hidden Cataract maybe once. I don't remember. But yeah, having Hidden Cataract is pretty good. And we were more blue than white. But in one game, we really lacked just one white to finish him off. But we still got there even without Malamint War Scribe. Uh, we just kept attacking, yeah, and, and got there. All right, awesome. Let's claim it. All right, and as usual, thanks for watching. If you made it this far, why don't you smash that like button? Please consider subscribing and check out my other vids. See you on the next one.